It seems like every single day there's a new study coming out, a new article, a new, uh, a new blog post, uh, a new uh, story on the news, something in the newspaper. Every day we're reminded of probably one of the most serious health threats in the history of the United States, um, and that's obesity. And not only obesity for adults, and almost 60% of all adults, but childhood obesity. What can we do about obesity? To me, it starts with the parents, of course, because children are being influenced by the people they see daily, the people they live with daily. And then they're being influenced by the people they hang out with or where they go. And that second most important is where? Of course, school. So you've got your parents, you've got your schooling, you have your friends. And then the other biggest influence for kids is what? Is things like video, like what you're watching right now, YouTube, um, television, movies. Lastly, it's whatever they can get their hands on. And by that I mean food-wise, when they go to the restaurant, invariably a fast food joint, it's the type of food that if it's full of calories, full of fats, full of unhealthy, uh, non-lack of nutrition, then they're going to continue to get fat. What can we do about it? Well, I have a simple solution, or not so simple solution, depending on how you want to look at it for not only childhood obesity, but adult obesity. And that's what I like to call 3,500. Now you could say you have to exercise more, and that's true, we all can exercise more. I'm taking my walk right now. Right now it's 95 degrees. Is this a day that I really want to take my walk? Well, actually, yeah, I like taking walks, but there's lots of times I don't want to exercise. But again, 3,500. I'm gonna keep repeating that. 3,500. What is 3,500? 3,500 is the amount of calories you need to burn to lose one pound. 3,500. So again, exercise more? Well, exercise is healthy for you not only in burning more calories, but it's also important for your body, your muscles, your heart rate, your mind, your spirit. Exercise is, uh, is, is a fantastic uh, remedy for just about what other, whatever ails you. And for kids, I guarantee they're not getting enough exercise. So yes, exercise is important, but this is not even, a, I'm not even talking about the importance of exercise. I'm talking about, again, 3,500. 3,500. You have to burn 3,500 calories more than you ingest on any given day, week, month to lose one pound. People have to, especially children who are obese, who are trying to maintain weight, trying to lose weight, trying to stay in shape, people have to be cognizant of how many calories they ingest all the time. If they want to get in shape if they want to lose weight and considering the statistics that I just uh, talked about in the beginning of this video people over 60 percent of the people maybe 70 percent I'd say seven or eight out of every ten you see need to lose weight and I'm not making these stats up go to the mall go to a ball game go to the movies go out to dinner and take a look at uh, your audience. Take a look at your, your the patrons. Take a look at your coworkers and your friends. And tell me how many of them are in shape. Tell me what kind of shape they're in. Yeah, pretty sad, isn't it? So what do you do? May I be redundant? May I say 35, 3,500 again? Yes, I may. And yes, I need to reiterate that. 3,500. Here's the thing. Most people need to lose not just 10 pounds, not just 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds. 
Now, if the average person maybe only has to lose 20 or 30, I have a video called How to Lose Two Pounds a Week, and I talk about the magic number, 3,500. Go watch that, and I'll get you on the way. But just to get started right now, 3,500. Let's try to lose one pound a week. And here's how you do it. You count your calories. Let's say you, you eat 2,000 calories a day, okay? You want to lose a pound for the week, 2,000 calories a day. That means you have to burn 2,500 calories. Because if you burn 500 more calories each day, 500 times 7 days is 3,500. Think about how easy that sounds. Well, first of all, the hard part is only eating 2,000 calories. Or for some, the hard part is burning 2,500 calories. How can we help you? Calorie counters, everything that, uh, and calorie burners. I have them on my website, Live Life 365. Go into the uh, links. I have links to help you count your calories and uh, to help you burn your calories. There are links that will tell you uh, what activity, like this walking burns, I don't know, two, three, four hundred calories. Maybe not that much, I'm not sure. The good news again, sitting on your butt watching TV will burn calories, so will sleeping. But to burn more than 2,500, 3,000, 4,000 calories, you have to be more active. So, again, 3,500 calories. I'm going to have you lose one pound a week. And you know, if you can do that and have a pretty good year, you could lose 40, 50 pounds. That ain't bad. Most people want to lose all this weight in a few months and then go back to their, go back to their bad ways. Well, what I mentioned earlier about childhood obesity, parents, teachers, friends, um, fast food, and exercise. Those are the five keys, and the 3,500 is the other key. Starts with the parents, starts with the friends and teachers, and by that I mean parents have to set examples for the kids. Teachers, schools, they have to serve the good foods. And it doesn't have to be uh, lettuce and carrots. Just has to be food that uh, not only is healthy for them, but it's not going to have a lot of empty calories. Because if you're counting calories, you're going to make your calories count. 3,500. If you want to know more about 3,500, I have a blog post about 3,500. Go to livelife365.blogspot.com. I have a video called How to Lose Two Pounds a Week. Uh, that should help you. And ask me any questions. I will make a video especially for you to help you lose weight. The best way though, the only way I know, is to count your calories, is to burn more calories than you ingest. It's a simple formula, but it's very difficult. I hope this helped. Peace.